So I want to talk about whether you reject women or not, and that's your real problem with dating. But before I do, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, and share. And if you see something really good in this, that juicy that you like and you want to talk about, definitely comment. Now let's dive right in. Do you reject women? What does that look like? What does that feel like? How would you reject women? I think men are built to attract women. We are built biologically to attract women. It's not, it's, it's biological. It's not a choice. Women get attracted to men, men get attracted to women, right? So why are so many men having trouble meeting women today? Well, we're watching all kinds of YouTube videos about it. We're watching all kinds of Instagram videos about it. We're talking to our friends about it. The media is talking about it. Everybody is building up this story about how hard it is to meet women. And it's getting bigger and bigger in your head. What bitches they are. And then as soon as you see proof of that, oh, this one woman manipulated this guy for a million dollars. I saw it on Instagram. Then you start to worry about that. Oh, this one girl stole some money from me. I took her out to dinner and she just want, used me for money. And you build another story. These become reference points. And the more you get them, the more your subcommunication changes, the way you look at women changes, the way you sort for women changes. Maybe at a certain point you start rejecting all the sweet women and you shut off on them. And as soon as that gold digger comes up, which you're afraid of, you pull her in and she takes money from you. You see, I think we're all creating our own reality, women and men. And we get, do it through our thoughts and through our feelings. And if you really believe that women are here to use you and manipulate you, that's what you're gonna draw. Or if you believe that women are impossible to meet, that's what you're gonna draw because you're gonna wall off and shut down. Now, how do I know this? Well, in my workshops and seminars that I used to do, we would line up rows of men and women you know, 10 women, 10 men. We'd have them look at each other and stare at each other. You could see the guys rejecting the women, pushing the women away with a walled off heart, uh, turning off their curves, pulling back in their throat, sinking back in their body. They were terrified to connect with these women. And we would spend all week breaking them down, opening them up, teaching them to open up and let the woman in. Let her feel her, your heart and where your heart's at, feel your turn on. And that is a literal thing that happens. And when you saw that subcommunication change and you saw them start to connect at a deeper level, it was wild to see the differences. As we saw the differences in the, in the process, we could start to predict almost what was going to start to happen in the outside world for those guys. Some guys had a lot of walls. It took a lot of work. Some guys went quick. And looking at the women, even though they weren't our clients, we brought them in to do work and focused on the guys. I could see their walls too, their games, their fears. We're all doing this. We're all telling the world how to treat us, whether it's dating, whether it's sales, whether it's friends, we're just constantly pushing and pulling on the world and it sucks. So I want to invite you into this idea that you might be rejecting women and take a deep look at your beliefs, maybe process with letting go of women. What if you saw women as giving and loving? you know, as caring. Maybe you would start to find a whole new vibration of women that you don't have access to right now that are giving, loving, and caring. And maybe they would start showing up in your life more and more. And I believe that is very real and very possible. What if there's many different types of women out there? There's sweet women that are giving, that want to be a wife and take care of you and nurture you for the rest of your life. And there's women that want to steal from you and everything in between. And all these different vibrations of women, they hang out together, right? All the OnlyFans girls are going to hang out with each other. And they're not. And the women that want to be wives and really care about you and love you are over here. Girls that are just partying right now, they may be in the middle somewhere. They're not ready. And as you attune your vibration to the right group, that group starts showing up in your life. But if you're with the wrong group, then that group's going to show up. So if you're fearful of the group that's going to steal from you and you keep worrying about that, odds are that's the group you're going to draw. But if you're open and free and loving of these women that really care and want to be your wife, that's the group you're going to draw. So start to look at your vibration. Start to ask yourself, when I think about women, where is my vibration? How low on the emotional scale is it? You know, I talked about that in many videos, apathy, grief, fear, lust, anger, pride, courage, acceptance, love, peace. If you're down in fear and that's your dominant emotion, yeah, you're going to draw what you're afraid of. The dominant emotion is drawing the type of person you want to be with. So as you process those emotions and start to get higher and higher up on that scale and start to feel lighter and lighter and start to be able to open up to the type of women you want with no more resistance, that I know you'll stop rejecting women and they'll start coming into your life. So what I'm going to invite you to do with this video is take an inventory of what your deep core beliefs are about women, what your thoughts are about women, what your thoughts are about life. 
your, what your thoughts are about what you can and can't have in life. And then start to notice the emotion attached to it. And I want you to start thinking about seeing if you can let that go. And then once you've got that list, definitely check out letting go. If you haven't already, if you're not good at it, learn to let go. Whether you get the letting go, you get my revealing process video where I take you into a deep dive in the process, or you watch one of my videos on YouTube, which are free and learn to start to process these emotions and start to let go of these stories. And to take it one step further, there are lifelong, happily married couples out there that love each other and love each other till the day they pass. I've seen many of them. So that has to be possible ultimately for anybody that reaches that vibration. But with that said, make sure to check out my ebook, The Art of Fearless Seduction, and my previous video on raising your vibration. There'll be a link somewhere in here. And remember, only the confident really live. Take care. Have a beautiful day.